Hi, it's Rob from Lardbrook again. I'm here with Pip from Beyond Ragnarok. Um, by all accounts, they had a fantastic first game. And I'm just going to pass this over to, to Pip to tell us all about Beyond Ragnarok, <laughs> uh, what's coming up, and why it was so good. So, Pip, I've set you up for a lot there, but... <laughs> Where do I start? Okay, um, okay, well the basic premise of Beyond Ragnarok um, is that Ragnarok actually happened hundreds of years ago. 221 to be precise because we started our game last year in 2021. Um, and Ragnarok as um, it's how it was prophesized has gone completely wrong. Hell completely derailed it um, and overwhelmed the forces of Asgard. And Heimdall ended up cutting off the Bifrost from the what we term as the higher realms of Asgard, Valheim, Alfheim and Svartalfheim. Yes, for any nerds out there who knows, yes, Svartalfheim, we are terming as a higher realm. 221 years later, that uh, Bifrost reopened and nobody knew why. So the game that we ran last year was uh, a smaller event of 60 players. It told the story of the first group of people that went down through that um, portal to find out what was on the other side and it also served as our play test make sure our rules were working as we yeah. envisioned them because throughout the long dark we've been able to test absolutely nothing so it worked really really well we've done a few tweaks over the winter based on a lot of feedback from players uh, but we are now um, ready to launch the mainline games which will be starting in april this year so over the winter in-game, um, people from Midgard, as they found humans there who had access to magic that was previously only the remit of the gods. They have gone back up to the higher realms in order to teach people how to use that magic so they can help the war happening against hell on Midgard. Not a small plot then. Tiny, insignificant little plot, yes. Yeah. <laughs> little plot out there. And you said you've got your first event in April this year, so is it just April or are there going to be more events? We've got one in April, which is the second weekend, a weekend before um, Easter. We've got one on the first weekend of July and then the third weekend of September. So we're doing three per year at the moment. Um, if we get massively popular, we might add a fourth one in to be... Yeah. But we'll, we shall see. We thought we'd start with three. No, 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 that three sounds like, like a good number. And if somebody was interested in, in learning more and joining in the game, how do you do it? We have a website which is actually, it's not Beyond Ragnarok, it's actually uh, the company's website. We are Metagames um, Studios Limited who actually run this game and uh, another one that we've got launching at the end of the year as well. Yeah. For some reason we decided to launch two in one year very silly but we shall see how that goes uh, so the website is uh, just www.meta-games.co.uk you can go on there you can create accounts to um, create characters everything is online you can then book tickets for your characters and find all the rules all the law is everything is through the website oh that sounds really really <laughs> easy convenient and exactly how i wish more games would do it actually <laughs> Thank you. We, we did spend a lot of time uh, working at how to make the process of actually finding out everything as streamless as, as, uh, and seamless as humanly possible. Uh, so they go to one place, our main website, and it's got all of our games on there. And you can create one account, create characters for all of our games and book everything through the same account. Okay, that sounds fantastic then. So, so people like thank you very much for spending some time with us and look forward to seeing you later on this year. Thank you very much for having us. <laughs>